for our reading. All right, so this is a, um, just some information on the miracle worker, which I found pretty fascinating. Um, so this is mostly about Ann Sullivan, who was Helen Keller's teacher. Um, this was a quote that I liked from her. It said, people seldom see the, hate, uh, the halting and painful steps by which the most insignificant success is achieved. So a lot of people see the success, but they don't see all the struggles that have to go uh, behind it. So Ann Sullivan um, had a very difficult childhood. Her parents fled Ireland and came to America. Um, she became almost blind because of an eye infection. And then her mother died. And so her and her brother were sent to a home for abandoned children, really. Um, and then her brother died shortly after and so the only way she got out of there as this home was um, there was a person coming in to investigate all the abuse and cannibalism that was going on there. And she ran out and she was like, I want to go to school. So they sent her to school. And there she learned how to do um, finger sign language which led her to meeting Ann, um, Helen Keller. But Mark Twain was the first person to call her a miracle worker. He was annoyed that everybody wanted to meet uh, Helen Keller, but ignored this woman that taught her. And so he called her the miracle worker. Um, and then I have a video that you can find these all online. And I found it kind of fascinating. You can find all these videos and learn uh, American Sign Language on TikTok had a lot of cool videos that were more um, slang words, but this was a cool video that just teaches you um, the basic signs, if it will play, eh, it might not play, but online you can find all these cool, so we could do some of these together. She teaches um, most of the common words. So like, please. please. <laughs> All right. Show your please. Show your please. <laughs> or more. Oh, I love more. More, yeah. Cooper, more. You want more. <laughs> oh, God. I like that one. You could use yeah. that oh, everywhere. Well <laughs> done. But yeah, you can find all these videos like all over the internet that are really cool. I found one video and it was the interpreters doing a rap battle. And so the rapper was singing his song so fast, but the interpreters were able to go along with it. So some cool ways you can use American Sign Language, um, you can communicate silently to others. So if you and your sister or brother learn sign language, your parents won't know what you're talking about. Um, and also these interpreters got jobs with these famous musicians and were traveling the world, um, which I found cool. And then you can connect to more people. Um, one time I was at a restaurant and a table of um, hearing impaired people came in, but the waiter knew American Sign Language, so they were able to communicate and I was always kind of envious that I don't know it. But this chapter was really cool and it shows how Ann Sullivan kind of started this, you know, in 1887 and to where it has become now is pretty impressive. And the first part, the first part of our reading is about...